Hello and welcome to Knife Chats, a channel where we discuss the history of cutlery as well as offer reviews on affordably priced knives for the user and collector alike. Without further ado, let's see what today's video is about. Today we look at the Rough Rider 090 Small Game Hunter or Bird and Trout Knife. I thought I'd show you this knife today. It's a small game hunter uh, by Rough Rider, and this is a RR090, as you can see from the tang stamp probably, if I can get it to focus and the light hit it right, RR090 China, and you got the 440 razor sharp up there. I'll take some pictures of it and put it in a slideshow at the end, and then the little Rough Rider symbol on the back. Really nice stag handles, nicely pinned, uh, brass pins, looks like a brass guard. This is uh, either nickel silver or stainless steel. Full tang all the way through, right into the 440 razor sharp blade. Really nice uh, shape to the blade. It's uh, you know your typical uh, clip blade that you find on a bird and trout knife. Uh, I think they call it a small hunter simply to uh, avoid some kind of uh, copyright issues or something. If we can see here, the cutting edge on the blade is about three inches. Overall, the blade is about three and a quarter inches. Knife length overall is right at six and three eighths inches. So it is a very small knife, which most bird and trout knives are. Uh, actually, uh, my five inch toothpick has a a larger blade and a, a more substantial blade than this but this blade is more than fine for um, you know taking care of uh, your trout or your bluegill or anything else that you might be catching well small trout like rainbow trout and things of that nature and bass stuff like that and also for uh, your, your pheasant and stuff they, um, even ducks probably so I don't do much uh, bird hunting, but I do do fishing, and this knife is would be a, a really good one for cleaning up a fish. And uh, the, the one with the stag handle came with a nice leather sheath. It had a strap uh, to hold it, you know, with a snap on it to hold the, uh, the knife into the sheath. But once you push it in there, that knife doesn't come out at all. You're not gonna shake it out or anything. And the strap basically hid the, uh, the stag handle, so I took it off. Uh, but yeah, really nice sheath, nicely stitched, nice and thick. You put that, uh, the knife in there, you could actually drop that in your pocket. You could also slip it on a belt if you wanted to. Um, either way, you could carry it. I'm really happy with this knife and, uh, glad I picked it up. Like I said, I don't think you can find it with the stag anymore unless you find it, luckily, on eBay. But they have it in, uh, like, um... A red bone, a strawberry bone, a um, a brown jig bone. They have it in the um, yellow comp. They even have it in glow in the dark scales. So um, there's a variety of ways you can pick up this knife. And if you're using it, you know, for fishing and stuff, the yellow comp might be a really good idea. I bought this one really more for show than anything else, but I do like it and. Uh, uh, it's really tempting. You're going to have to go out there and cut up a fish with it someday because it's just really such a nice looking knife. Um, and I'm very happy with it. And uh, like I said, first, but probably not the last one I'm going to have of the, uh, of the uh, little bird and trout knives. Uh, not only by uh, Rough Rider, but probably by other companies too because it's really just a, a nice little pattern and would be real helpful if you're doing anything with bird or trout. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon. Okay, like I mentioned, this is the uh, first of these bird and trout knives that I picked up in this uh, this particular pattern. I've got other bird and trout knives that are bigger than this, uh, but I finally picked this one up to uh, give it a go and see how it feels in the hand and everything because of how small it is. And uh, actually, it, it feels quite nice in the hand uh, despite the uh, small size because you're often going to be grabbing the blade a little bit to uh, choke up on it to do some of your uh, your cleaning of the fish and everything else so uh, 
it's actually a nice size for um, for panfish and such and that's why I'm thinking about picking up other ones I often will pick up a, a rough rider first before I go and get a knife like this in a more expensive uh, brand like case or something just to see how well it works and that's one of the great things about rough riders they're uh, they're affordably priced uh, this one was their top of the line and it came in at around twenty three dollars the uh, other uh, handle materials like the yellow comp and the glow in the dark and uh, the various bones all come in around a ten or eleven dollars so really a very affordable price for this type of knife these are the overall sizes of the knife this is uh, like I said six and three eighths inches or 16 centimeters overall with a three and an eighth inch blade or eight centimeters the steel on this was 440A, which is uh, equivalent to the steel you find on uh, like a case knife and even some of the buck knives and such. Uh, even um, like K-Bar and Winchester and several other companies that make these uh, little bird and trout knives uh, often have a steel that's similar to this. It's even similar to the, uh, the stainless steel blades you'll find on the queen knives if they're using their 420 uh, still in the in the queen, but it's not the same as the D2 steel that you can find on some of the queen knives. As I mentioned, it's got a uh, full tang clip blade. It had a brass guard and brass pins, the stag handle, and a steel pommel, and it came with a leather sheath. The leather sheath is nicely stitched. It's a top. Uh, Top grain cow leather. Um, it's fairly thick, had a nice belt loop, and uh, well stitched. Uh, like I mentioned, it did have a snap closure up here. I just took it off because it was uh, basically overkill for this knife. It really isn't going to slide out. But if uh, if you like that snap closure, it's going to be on there if you were to find it this way. Most of the other ones come with a nylon uh, sheath. Uh, the ones that are in the $10, $11 range, they come with a nylon sheath, which actually probably will weather better than the leather does. As I mentioned, 440 razor sharp steel, uh, Rough Rider 090, and it is made in China. That's one of the reasons why the price is what it is. Um, if you have a problem with knives made in China, you probably shouldn't have been watching this video, especially because almost all of Rough Rider knives are made in China. And there you have the Rough Rider logo on the back side. And a nice look at the uh, burnt deer antler or stag handle. Um, and uh, I was actually impressed with the uh, the quality of the stag on this uh, handle. It's uh, nice. It's got a nice uh, uh, swell in the middle. And it, uh, really, you can grip it pretty well, despite being only a three inch or three and a half inch handle. So. I hope you liked the video, and I hope you liked the uh, Rough Rider Bird and Trout Knife. I was very uh, pleased with it, and uh, I'm definitely glad I picked it up, and I'm glad I found it in the stag handle. Thanks for visiting. If you like this video, please share it with a friend, and consider subscribing to Knife Chats. To be notified of future episodes, don't forget to ring that bell. As always, your comments are welcome and insults are cheerfully ignored. Remember, you're only as sharp as your knife.